Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Scott Shields. I'm the Associate Director and Chief Curator at the Crocker Art Museum and welcome to the 2020 Art Auction season. As you all know, our Art Auction is online this year, but the event is July 18th. But the pieces are up and online right now and you can take a look at them. We have a live, a silent, and a big name small art component and you'll need to register for all of those through BidSquare. A lot of the auction pieces have artist videos attached and they're really fun to watch so I'd encourage you to watch those. And I will also just say that the art this year is really incredible. There are works by artists that are not only well known in California but nationally and internationally. And please take a close look and I think there's something for everybody in there from glass to ceramics to paintings to works on paper. So if you can't find something, um, just keep looking because I'm sure you will. The auction is happening through BidSquare, uh, but don't let that intimidate you. It's a really easy platform on our website, crockerart.org forward slash art auction. There are links to show you how to, how to do the bidding, um, various tutorials, and they're very good. And so I think you'll have no trouble. It's, it's really a very straightforward platform, and I've done it a lot as the curator here at the Crocker Bidding Online, and have found it to be quite easy. I will say that there's no real benefit to waiting until the last minute. Some of you might do eBay and you want to sneak in at the last minute to, swipe, to get the bid um, at, because that's the best way of winning. But in this case, when a work is coming up for sale, it will have a timer and if there's people still bidding in the last minute, it will extend for another 10 minutes. So I'd encourage you to go ahead and leave your bids now. Bid as high as you think you might be willing to go and that will also protect you the night of the event if your internet connection is slow. One of the things that will happen is that you will always get the piece for the lowest possible price. So let's say the piece is worth $2,000 to you and the next bidder only bids $1,500. Because bid increments at that amount will be $100, that would mean you would get the piece for $1,600 or one bid above the next highest bid. So you really can't overbid. So the order of the events will be the big name small art, the live auction, and then the silent auction. And on the non-live auctions, big name small art and the silent auction, pieces will close every minute and you will have an opportunity to bid on them up until that last minute. As I mentioned, if a work has multiple bids going in in the last minute, it will extend for 10 minutes. And if you are outbid in any time during from the time you place the bid until the time it closes, you will get a notification that you've been outbid. If you really feel strongly about a piece, you might wanna just keep an eye on it in the very last few minutes, because if you get an outbid notice, it will take you some time if you're not already online to get back online and put in another bid if you feel like you should. And I'd always say, I've always regretted the pieces I didn't get more than the pieces that I did. And so if you like it, try to get it. I think that the other thing I will tell you is that what's wonderful about an online auction is that you don't have to worry about outbidding your friends because they're not going to know it's you. And they won't know it's you until you invite them over for your next dinner party and they see that work of art on the wall that they might have been bidding on as well. So I say be ruthless and bid high and you don't necessarily have to bid often this year. You can just bid once and just put in the max you're willing to go and I say play to win um, because that's what we want. This helps the Crocker, it helps the museum, and we could really use the help right now. So in conclusion, what I would say is that a lot of the artists in this sale are rising stars, and there are other ones that are really considered masters. And their work isn't really going to get any cheaper. So if you like something, I would say get it now. We have had a lot of people in the past say, boy, I'm sure I'm glad I bought that piece when I did because the prices keep going up. Or conversely, boy, I wish I would bid on that piece, but but didn't, and now I can't afford that person. So um, take a look at the videos too. They're going to really help inform the work and tell you a little bit about the artist and what they're thinking when they made it. And I always think that's informative. Um, and if you have any questions or you need help, please reach out to us. We're here to help because we want to make this auction as successful as possible. And we all want you to enjoy the experience. So thank you very much for, for helping and for bidding. And um, it's, it's all for a good cause. So bid high and play to win.